you to also uh, keep down these names I want to tell you. already know the name Michael Oshawa. There's also Friday Gabriel. He's also doing big things in the under-16 category. There's also Christopher Itodo and Christopher Bulos. We, should, we need to find out if they're brothers. They're also uh, representing Nigeria at the championship. That's for the men. And for the ladies, there's Aditaya Aditunji. She's based in South Africa. Uh, she's there with Angel McCloyd, Barakat Quadri, and Mary Love Edward. Uh, they have all crashed out of the singles event, so they are giving massive support to Michael Oshawa to go all the way in the singles event. But two of them are also in the double, so they're doing big things in the double. And we said this morning when we spoke to the coach that ah, it gets to show that they are learning teamwork, they're learning bonding, and that's very, very important for uh, this early stage of their career. Let's go on with the show now. Uh, I mean, uh, we've been busy lately with investigations in FIFA. Uh, good thing we have a new president now. We've seen some stability, uh, but it's an update on um, <laughs> funds that have been taken up. L looted funds. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's going on in FIFA now uh, is that they're seeking to repair uh, the damage um, that has been done. And now they're, they're calling on the U.S. Uh, prosecutors that look, all, all the money all the money that you have seized actually belongs to us. Mm. And, and, and guess what? We are the victims here. <laughs> These guys actually stole Give us our, our money. own <laughs> money. So, you know, do whatever you're going to do. Mm. Release the money to us um they have come out to accept you know in, in the last one or two years has been denied us all the way but now they said okay we agree that some of us took bribes mm -hmm. uh to uh give the world cup uh, and these are the key figures uh you know all of them <laughs> <laughs> already <laughs> and these are the guy uh, um as at the last count 41 officials mm. related to fifa wow in terms of individuals and there are some other organizations now you can begin to mention names of organizations mm. that money were, were siphoned through some of them so what what um, fifa is trying to do uh the new board uh, led by Gianni infantino right. what they're trying to do now is to ensure that look return some of this money to us because we're actually the victim here and go ahead and charge those yeah. guys if you want to charge them yeah. But, but just return ensure our money. That, that the money comes I know it's the, the, the very important for them because some of the sponsors have pulled out, out and others are threatening to pull out. They will need that money. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, about $190 million. There's a lot of money. And, you know, some ex-officials um, who pleaded guilty, you know, have already agreed to pay more than this to, 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 to the U.S. So I think what Infantino is doing, um, <laughs> it can be likened to what the federal government is doing. You know, our president going around the mm. world trying to get money stolen from Nigeria, right. brought back to the country to mm. help development. And Infantino said that this money we are meant for school fields, mm -hmm. we are meant the for development, of the, development of the games, and not for mansions, not for officials who are. this money. He will freeze this money <laughs> for jewelries and things not related to uh. football. So I think, um, I think, I think it's a step in the right direction because at, the, at this stage, you need to take you know definite um, positions yeah. you need to start the, the your body language should portray you as somebody who has indeed come to clean up yeah. um, the scandal mm. that has uh, bedeviled fever over the past uh, two three years so i think it's a it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a right step in the right direction that's right if they are able to get some of this they have already written mm. the u.s authorities fifa lawyers have written mm -hmm. and in fact they have even raised alarm about an ex fifa member who Chuck has Blazer. been living you know very flamboyant lifestyle mm. You know that some of the uh, he, his lifestyle is not in consonance with and, uh, you know a man yeah. who is supposed to. And, and that's why they are asking for the return uh, of, of the money. Don't just freeze our money. Okay, you are you are helping us to fight corruption. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. We we, we love it. Uh, the, the guy uh, in, in, in the confines of, of America is living large. So it, it, I mean, talking about Chuck Blazer. So it, it doesn't seem as if his lifestyle has not been affected. Yeah. Uh, he's in Porsche buildings, yeah. exotic cars, uh, seen in, in places. Casinos in casinos still gambling away the money so uh, they, they want to know what the u.s prosecutors want, want to do with their money That's yeah. right. because now they are going on the offensive it's actually our money now we are not the plaintiffs the yes victims. we are the victims <laughs> give up our money <laughs> if you're going to charge these guys oh charge as far as they are concerned those guys are not part of fifa anymore so you you told us to rebrand football you told us to cl clean out mm. the mess we're cleaning out the mess and one way you can help us is let's return the money what about those ones that exchange hands during bids for the World Cup that came out of a country? Is it their money? It's not their money because they allege that South Africa gives some money. That's South African money. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, <laughs> so all of these investigations <laughs> need to go. Need to so go around it, properly. It, and let's know what, what it, our if anybody is what that's what they're trying to, to say. Um, mm. and, and I think that's that, that's the way to go. That's right. uh, they're trying that's to show right. us look mm. that look, we're moving away from the past. That's right. If if anybody has soiled his hands, if anybody has done that's anything to that tarnish yeah. the image of FIFA, go after such guys. Mm. But when it comes to our money, give us our money. <laughs> so that's the talk from FIFA. Uh, with the same well done to every prosecutor that is trying to bring integrity back to football. But uh, for all the recovered uh, loot, bring back our money. That's the message uh, from FIFA. Sports tonight on Channels TV, there's still so much to talk about. Let's go on a break now. When we come back, we'll talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria and how they're getting ready for that crucial game against the Pharaohs of Egypt. Not just that, we'll talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay. Have you been wondering what the future of Nigerian football looks like? Then watch this space. We are ready for Season 8 of the Channel's National Kids Cup. And this is a call for entries for the Vegas preliminaries. Interested schools should pick up application forms from Channel's TV headquarters. Isheri North and Sobeb Sports Office. In Maryland, application form is free. Deadline for submission is 31st of March, 2016. For more information, visit ChannelsTV.com. This competition is organized in collaboration with Echo Football, Channel's National Kids Cup. We're catching them young. When we say good morning, we mean business morning. Information, insight, perspectives. It's not just business news, but exclusive and focused interviews with top CEOs, entrepreneurs, hands-on business managers, the men and women who drive the economy of Nigeria, a country at the cusp of a new beginning. We follow the money. We keep tabs on the economy. Business Morning, weekdays at 10 a.m. That's right, you saw that promo again. We're getting ready for season eight of the channel's National Kids Cup. We're excited because it's all about grassroots development right there with primary school pupils. We're going back to the basics. That's what the channel's National Kids Cup is all about. Schools in Lagos, we're coming for you. Kids, tell your games master, tell your proprietor, your proprietors, have you picked up the forms for the channel's National Kids Cup? Hurry up. 31st of this month. That's the deadline. We're coming. It's all about catching them young. That's it for the channel's National Kids Cup. Let's come back uh, to the show now. Um, Yemi Adebayo, what... I don't know. I've been looking for a way to describe that game between Nigeria and Egypt. And Chris Samson says he has a big tax ahead of him. He needs to understand a blend of foreign and home-based legals. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And some people have even uh, gone ahead to say that um, the outcome of that game will determine his future. Mm. Um, um, his coaching future uh, in Nigeria and, and even beyond beyond the country because if he's able to pull the chestnut uh, out of the fire it, it's going to open up um, a, 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 lot lot of, a lot of things mm. a lot of opportunities for him here um, and abroad I mean you, you run out of adjectives to describe I know. It, it's going to be a disaster 